Alright, so me and um, a friend of mine are having a dispute. He thinks that I'm not helping him become any better as a fighter. And basically, I'm a bad sparring partner. I mean, he didn't, that's not his words exactly. But you could boil it down to I'm just a bad sparring partner to him, at the very least, because I'm not helping him get any better. He wants people who's coming to fight, quote unquote. And this individual particularly has longer limbs. He has a, I believe, 78 inch wingspan. He's six feet, six, six, one, six feet. I'm five, nine, a 71 inch wingspan, give or take. You know, I don't, I don't have the longest arms in the world. So most people would say you should come, you, you, you should try to pressure him um, and get your shots off. Me, I don't like getting hit. You got to respect it. <laughs> it's my I don't like getting hit so I've centered my style really around not liking getting hit I try to be evasive I try to use footwork I try to use I try to create angles to get shots off and I've been using styles I've been taking influence from other fighters Max Holloway um, Dominic Cruz to try to create angles and get shots off on him and to be able to land and, and not get hit as much and it's been working because he hasn't been able to hit me very much. Um, and I haven't been getting hit that much. And whenever we would, when we would spar, I mean, it would be pretty even in terms of how many shots were landed. Um, but come to find out, he doesn't really like this. He, he wants people to be, to spar him, to come to fight. Basically, a Justin Gaethje-esque fighter, someone who's going to be in your face, even though Justin Gaethje did change the strategy, or Tony Ferguson, you know, someone who's going to be in your face, they come to fight. They're going to be there. They're going to stand in front of you. That's that's what I'm getting. But when I say that, he claims that's not what he wants. But really, every, the, the, the people that he would name, which I'm not going to say their name, but the people that he would name, to me, one of them gets dropped all the time when he fights him because he literally said to me, dude, I can't get in on him. Like, I, 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 I literally, I can't do anything. Because all he does is he just tries to come in in a straight line. Boom. Come in a straight line, he gets teeped. Comes in a straight line, he gets punched. He's get he gets knee. Then the other the other person usually doesn't come in on a straight line, but he's he's a smaller person than I am. So if he does create angles, he's able to come in quickly off of the angle and then get out. I cannot. I'm 200 fucking pounds. I'm overweight, but he doesn't believe me. He thinks this is my grown man body. No nigga, I'm just fat for myself right now. Um. So he. <laughs> He, he's he's convinced that I I'm not making him any better and I, I you know I tell him I'm I am giving you a different look bro because everyone's not gonna fight you like that the way I spar people in the gym I don't spar everyone the same I come up and I, I mean this is just my personal philosophy I don't know but when I spar people I try to come up with different styles or different strategies of fighting for that particular fighter there's someone in the gym named JT. When he fights, he's someone who likes to throw a lot of kicks. He likes to throw a lot of kicks. He throws spinning back kicks. He likes to throw nice stuff. You know, and I can't let him get his kicks off. So I pressure him because he's not very, he's not the greatest with it. He has quick hands, but he's much better with setting up the kicks and using his punches to set up the kicks. And because I know that, I pressure him so I don't let him settle. And I, I know I can outbox him because I have better boxing. This is a guy named Mondo who has good boxing, probably better hands than I do. But the thing is, he needs to get into a rhythm in order to really start getting his shots off. And he's linear as well. So I'm going to have to start incorporating angles with him. When I was bar him, I wasn't really big on trying to use angles as much. Um, but when I when I spar him, I just try to pop the jab to get him out of that rhythm. And then try to wait and find the shot. He doesn't leave many openings for the shot unless you just, you know, risk getting hit. And I mean, sometimes you do have to risk getting hit. And I've been trying to work on getting over that too. So I can take those risks. At the time, I wasn't doing that though, you know. So I am gonna try to risk some hits or coming in to give to give a shot, you know. When 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 I spar this guy, um, the the the, the friend in name, he's a lanky fighter. He likes to throw a lot of shots to to get counters off of you so that he can catch you as you're coming in. I don't give him that. I'm like I'm not gonna fall for any of that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to try to create angles. I'm going to wait for my opportunity and catch you as you come in. That's the answer to, to, that's my answer to him. He's a very difficult person to fight, but 
at least with straight boxing, because like we just straight box. Um, he doesn't want to throw kicks outside of the gym for some reason. I don't fucking know. I I don't even have shit pads. I don't care. But for some reason, he cares. He's supposed to be the the tough one, and he's supposed to be the. I don't care, but it's whatever. So he, so when I spar him. I typically like to wait on the outside and wait for him to come in and, and lull him in to my, just within my range, so I can start getting jabs off to the body to try to siphon off some air, you know, or, you know, just get shots off on him because that's how you would probably have to fight him. You can't give him much opportunity. You can't let him, you can't let him really dictate, you know, and just get in your face. You can't let him get to get in your face and get in range. You have to get in there and get out. You have to be on the outside, you have to get in there and get out. You'll probably have to throw some leg kicks in there too, you know. But that's me trying to answer to his style. He doesn't like it because it doesn't make his style look better. It doesn't feed into his style. So it's like, oh, I'm not getting any better. But it's like, no, nigga, you're not trying to figure it out. You're not, <laughs> you're not trying to Because what are you going to do when you actually have someone that's evasive and someone who's who might have longer reach than you or someone who has just about the same amount of reach but they can use distance management better? What are you going to do then? Because then they can just, they can pick their shots. They can lull you into, to, into their reach that you don't even know that you're in. They can stay on the outside. They can keep using angles. That, what are you going to do? You can't, what, what, you don't, you, I'm giving you that look. I may not be doing it perfectly, but I'm giving you that look. And I don't know what else he wants from me. <laughs> I don't know what else he wants from me because that's my style, bro. That's my style for you. I tried the style of trying to just come in and pressure. Bro, I just got hit. That's literally it. That's all that fucking happened. I tried it. I did this shit. I tried to come in. Nigga, all I get is boop, 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 boop. That's it. And he, every time you try to throw a fucking counter, cross. Nothing, I, nothing telegraph. Cross. Jab. Hook. Wh whatever. He's just out of the way because his arms are seven feet fucking long. And it's like, bro, nigga, I can't even get you on the counter. I'm literally trying to fight you the best way I fucking possibly can with this in terms of just coming in, just pressuring you and the way you want that come to fight. Bro, it's not working. I hate it. I hate it. It's just, it, it, it fucks with my confidence. It's like, I feel like I can't fucking fight. It's like, dude, that's stupid. Why should I... Just get hit. Say you feel like I'm actually coming to fight. That's not coming to fight. That's fighting stupid. That's not how I would fight anybody. That's not my. That would not be my style. I wouldn't fight someone to just get hit. Cause I don't like that. You can fight anyone how you want to, but you can't tell me how to fucking fight, dude. He's just like disregarding my style completely. It's it's like, bro, you're a really bad matchup for me, and I'm trying to figure that matchup out. I can't like right now the way I am. I don't, like, I can't just get in and just, I, I, I try, and I can't. I, I have to find other creative ways to create angles and get in on you. It's as simple as that. I, I, you know? Simple as that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I think he's kind of being an ungrateful sparring partner because he's not finding the good, he's not finding the good in it. He, he has one definition, standard definition of fighting. And that's getting hit. That's it. <laughs> he has one standard definition. And he, he even said, you're not coming to box. Nigga, I'm literally boxing right now. I'm, I'm, I'm literally, like, boxing you right now. That's, that's, that's what I've been trying to do. I use the fucking shoulder roll. <laughs> so when I, when I get tired and he tries to come in and get shots off, I use the damn shoulder roll. And that's your opportunity. But you know what? You don't even want to try to figure it out. What you going to do when you got... I don't know. I don't know. But hey, that's just that's just what I gotta say, man.